I don't hate Fred Phelps and Westboro Baptist Church the way most people do. One of the biggest reasons for this is because I actually have identification with them. I'm not a homophobic person, so that's not my identification. I'm not a fundamentalist, that's not my identification. I'm not a Christian, that's not my identification. Like them, I have a lot of venom in me, and I have manifested it in the ways they have. Right now, I'm doing very intensive soul searching. I want to improve myself and achieve my goals. Right now, I'm focusing, zooming in on Westboro Baptist Church because it represents a layer of my soul I am seeking to remove, the moral crusader level of my soul. This level of the soul is ineffective and it prevents me from getting what I want. I see myself in Fred Phelps and Westboro Baptist Church, thus I can't hate them. And I would like to read you a position paper from the autonomy party, the political party I have. And this represents my views since I am a member of the autonomy party, a founder in fact, and thus the changes I make in my personal life reflect the party. As you can see, I have some of the same themes as Fred Phelps does, and this was before I even cared two wits about Fred Phelps. I talk about how you're either 100% against abortion and alcohol or 100% for it, and those who are not doing anything about it are the opposite. Take a close look at what I write and see the comparisons, and this is why I need to change. I want to be an iconoclast a revered iconoclast and a moral crusader is not a revered iconoclast. Autonomy Party 142 Using Eminent Domain for Positive Purposes by Andrew Bouchard Before I read this, I would like to say this is no longer valid. It has been repealed because I deemed it was unwise. We are still pro-life. We just don't take it quite this far. Narrow-minded Republicans and marginal pro-lifers act as if there is only one solution to the abortion problem, appointing a pro-life judge to the Supreme Court. While this is certainly a valid strategy, it should not be considered our only choice. Stupid people think there is only one way to stop abortion. I have proposed novel solutions to Republican types and marginal pro-lifers. But these lemming fools mutter nonsense such as all we can do is wait for a pro-life judge to be appointed to the Supreme Court or Bush is doing all he can. These lemmings act as if the perfect GOP has not proposed a given solution to the abortion problem. The given solution doesn't exist. Innovation, invention, critical thinking, maverick behavior, pioneer behavior, originality and creativity are virtually absent from the GOP. The GOP lemmings just discuss the same old stupid issues and propose the same old lame solutions to the point of nausea. Recently, while, attend while I was protesting Planned Parenthood, a fellow protester was talking about eminent domain. A novel solution dawned on me. I remarked that Planned Parenthood's property should be seized under eminent domain. I loved the idea. The government could seize Planned Parenthood's abortion clinics for any number of reasons. Doing such could surely halt abortion. For instance, our government could seize Planned Parenthood clinics in order to establish offices of the Department of Homeland Security so we can fight evil terrorists like Al-Qaeda. Al this is just one justification for seizing the property. There are many more. When one thinks outside the box or even just thinks at all, one realizes there is more than just one solution to the abortion problem. Critical thought is not something one can expect from the lemming-infested GOP. The Republicans are hip, cool, and often cocky. I'm not, but at least I think for myself, and I think. It's time to use eminent domain to seize Planned Parenthood's abortion clinics. Let's use eminent domain for good to save lives. Let's seize Planned Parenthood's abortion clinics www.autonomyparty.com